you from? I'm from uh, Henderson, Nevada. And tell me why you're here. Well, I'm here for, for a follow-up appointment to get clearance because I need to get braces to close my anterior open bite. Yeah, and we met, oh, last year, and you came to me, and we were looking to try to decide if uh, you had a problem with your open bite, if it was uh, something with your joint or if it was orthodontic, right? That's right. And we were a little concerned about, you know, before you jump into braces for us to track it. So basically we said, hey, you know what, let's have you back months later and take a look and see where the cartilage is if it's changed. Right. So you show up months later and here we are looking at things and things haven't changed. So you're relatively stable and adapted, even though if things are a little messed up, you're, you're in a good place. So, do you understand why we did that? Does it make sense? Oh yeah, it's important to really see the uh, soft tissue yeah. instead of just the hard tissue. Yeah, and, the, and you want to close your bite, right? Show everybody. That's right. Yeah. I can't because only the back teeth are coming together. Yeah, and you're, and you're sick of that. I and am. You want the bite to be normal. That's right. Are you symptomatic? I mean, do you have pain with it or headaches or anything? I do, especially in the... Um, joint area and sometimes in the temporalis muscles. Mm -hmm. Now that kind of declined after I had the wisdom teeth pulled on the lower part. So that's helped me a little bit. When I originally came to you last year, I thought that I was gonna like do the DTR therapy and I appreciate that you had the restraint to not do that right away. Mm. I still don't want to do you. I want you to get braces first. Right, I think that's the route to go. Yep. You know, after the braces, if you are symptomatic and you've got problems because they didn't dial your bite in 100% correct, then we'll do you. But there's no need to touch a bite like yours, not yet. The orthodontist that you were seeing, did he have an understanding of what was going on? He had no interest in, in d discussing the, uh, the MRI portion, but he did have a good knowledge of the hard tissue. I mean, not hard tissue, but the, the bone and the joint and all that. With the CT? Yeah, and with the CT, he thought and agreed with you that the bone structure and the condyles looked great. Yeah. But as far as me trying to push the report to him for the MRI, he was not interested in that at all. <laughs> so do you have any advice for other people that are looking to like seriously make sure things are good before they get orthodontics? Yeah, I would have them um, go to a practitioner that does DTR therapy and does the imaging because without the imaging you can't know you can't know and if you're if you're in pain even if you're not in excruciating pain in your head if you have temporalis tightness yeah. joint pain and jaw pain it's not it's not too bad but it's still bothering you i would get imaging mri and go to a dtr therapy practitioner so just to be safe well that's very fair that's a smart statement um some people are starting to pick up on the DTR therapy, but they're not typically imaging. DTR is an amazing tool, works great, shuts down muscles, but you have to have confirmed stable and adapted joints. We've confirmed that with you over a, what, six, eight month period of time? Over 10 months. Is it 10 months now? Yeah, 10 yep. months later. Um, basically, slightly torn on either side, um, lateral poles, your medials are perfectly healthy which is the most important part. And your fat signal's good, there's no fluid to speak of, there's no breakdown of the bone. I mean, your orthopedic issues, they're, they're minor and they're stable. Yeah, and that's really reassuring because without doing that, without you sending me to the MRI place, yeah. I wouldn't know. And then if there was a problem, yeah. I'd, I'd just be in complete in the dark. Yeah, you wouldn't know. And there's so many people out there, this is the key. <clears throat> 
key is there's so many people out there that go through like jaw surgery or braces to close, say, an open bite like you've got. But the reason the bite's opening is because the cartilage is torn in the back and things keep degenerating back there and they melt away slowly. And resultant of that, the front teeth start opening up because things collapse in the back. That's right. It just kind of pivots off of the muscles in the middle. It's crazy. So the reality is but you're one of the percentage that it's just the way you grew. Or maybe you sucked a thumb as a kid too much or something. The, the basic stuff, you are confirmed that. Whereas some of those people aren't. So they go through all that orthodontics, all that jaw surgery. And at the end of the day, a couple, two, three years later, their bites open again and or they're hurting again. They're like, what, what would happen? Right. And nobody looked at the joint. The surgeons and the orthodontists are still kind of, I don't know what happened. It's a relapse. The reality is a relapse is because of the joint, because of the soft tissue, the cartilage, which you can only see with an MRI. And the reason your orthodontist wasn't comfortable is because he doesn't look at them. Right. No offense to him, his training isn't there. So. Yeah, so he goes, he brings the discussion in the route that he wants to right. take it. What he's comfortable in. Right. He's got his com comfort zone, and you took him outside his comfort zone when you brought an MRI in the picture. Yeah, I, I interrogated him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So what's your, what are your plans now? You're going to go on and get the braces, right? That's right. Okay. And you'll contact us if you have any problems afterwards. Correct. And hopefully you won't. And maybe you'll just be liking our videos, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot.